Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the IFA Hub. I'm going to show you and use three different uh, IFAs, the example of IFAs to show you how this will work. This is Lebohang Tutu and this is a blog page for him where he'll be able to put content and share content from here. But we also have three, two other uh, examples as well. This is Maria Hendricks. We've made a profile for her. And this is George. So we're going to be using those three to demonstrate how the system works. So let's work with uh, Lebohang. Lebohang will have access to a library of content. Now, all the service providers like uh, Prudential or Liberty, um, Alan Gray, Coronation, Glacier will be able to put content onto the library. And if Lebohang sees an article that he'd like and he just says, I'll add that so I can share it. Firstly, if it's on the on the content hub, then it's already been approved by compliance and legal. He doesn't have to worry about that. And then if he's added that and he refreshes the the uh, his blog page, the article is pulled through with the images. And what's if you, if you um, go into the the wording of it, then his details is also pulled through into the article. And if we go to one of the others to, to put the same article in there, their details will be pulled through as well. So let's just put some uh, more articles on here to show you something else. If Le Bohang, firstly, he can keep adding content as simple as that. Um, besides the, 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 the name that gets pulled through and personalized, if, if he's found an article that has um, alternate images, if he says add to my blog, you can kind of look and say which of these pictures better suit my target audience. And if you choose that one and you add it, then when he comes back to his uh, page, for example, then it will it will have pulled the, the, the article with that picture that is targeted at his audience versus if one of the others add it. If George now comes and he also wants to add um, the uh, an, an, an article, the same article, so he chooses the same article, but he chooses this one, which is more his target audience, and he adds that to the blog. You go and refresh his one, and you see it will pull his the, the article with his picture um, into there, so it's a bit more personalized. I just want to continue and show you one last thing. I just want to add one year. That's his target audience. I just want to add a few before I show you how easy it is to create a newsletter. You can even add video as well. So video can also get added. If we refresh Lebo Hang's page, then those articles will be pulled through and they'll all be that's the picture he chose to be there and the video will also load it's just taking a bit of time and it will play within here but if we go to for him now to create a newsletter he goes to email he can now create an email newsletter he put he clicks create newsletter this month automatically updates but if i wanted to put in year 21st of november you can if you click save next, all the articles that we've put on his blog page is now available, um, personalized as well to, to add into his newsletter by simply saying add to newsletter. The first article you, you put in is the lead. Then you, you, you can just add as many of the, the things that you want. I don't think you want more than four or five articles in a newsletter anyway. But if you think that this story is a better lead story. It's as simple as click and drag, and that becomes the lead. If you preview, um, the newsletter is already automatically built um, and designed brand consistently. Um, you can have, maybe there's a newsletter. He's got databases for business users and individuals. He says this is more for individuals. Click on that and you send and the system automatically sends the email from from here as well. So it's an it's a IFA hub that is all encompassing, simple to use, 
uh, and, and will will create and lead um, lead generation as well.